All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. Peace and blessings to the elect out there that's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. All right, this lesson is uh, going to be called, you know, we have undoubtedly, uh, we or we have faith without a doubt that Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are the names of the heavenly father and his son uh, you know Yahweh being the heavenly father who the world ignorantly calls uh, God and Yahweh so on and so forth and Yahweh Shai being the son of the most high who the world ignorantly calls uh, Jesus and Yeshua um, and th those are uh, very important names and I know brothers have different testimonies uh, about how they called on, on those names and their prayers were, were heard were answered uh, but i'm going to start by reading proverbs 18 and 10 it says the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous runneth runneth into it and is safe and uh you know my personal te testimony about how you know knowing that yahweh and his son yahweh shod that those are the true names is uh because whenever i woke up to you know first started waking up to the truth and you know i uh you know, I was hearing the breakdowns and, you know, hearing that, you know, Israel, Israelites were the chosen people, so on and so forth. And then once I heard the the breakdown of the name, I was like, oh, I, I, I don't I don't know. I'm not sure if that's the name or not, but it, it sounded powerful, like it sounded intriguing. So I was like, all right, I'm going to try uh, praying to those names, you know, instead of God and Jesus, who I formerly used to pray to and nothing happened for me. Uh, you know, when I was in the world and, you know, I, I prayed to the, uh, I started praying to the names and then, you know, that, that doubt demon, you know, came over me and I was like, man, I, I don't know if these are the names or not. And then that night that sleep paralysis demon started fucking with me. And, uh, you know, I, I called, <laughs> that's when I called on Yahweh Bashim al Shai and then instantly, you know, that, that demon got off of me and I went back to sleep, having the best sleep of my life. And then when I woke up from then on out, hey, I've been calling on Yahweh Bashim al Shai. And I have other, you know, uh, testimonies about how, uh, you know, call, calling on, on the name, you know, for certain situations. But, you know, I don't, I don't want to make this video. Uh, about my personal testimonies, but um, also, you know, putting curses on people, you know, putting curses on your enemies and seeing, <laughs> watch them, watching them fall, you know, that's another, te like, uh, example of how we have that, uh, 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 you know, faith without a doubt that Yahweh Bashim al Shai is the true names. Um, but I'm going to grab this. This is a Ecclesiasticus chapter 2, verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see. Did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? And the answer is, is, is no one did. Or he, he didn't despise any that call, called on his name. You know, in all truth and sincerity. Because, you know, the, the you know one of the commandments is to not uh, use the Lord's name in vain. And when you go into that word vain... It means, you know, uh, uh, hold on, let me get it. It's Exodus 20. Yeah, e Exodus 20 and 7. I'm going to read it first. It says, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy power in vain, for the Lord Yahweh will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. All right, and we go into uh, that word vain. Oh, dang. Uh,. I can't because I'm not connected to Wi-Fi, but really it means, you know, you call on it without any meaning or, you know, you're doubting pretty much, you know, you don't believe on, on the name. So you're calling on it without a purpose, you know, but hey, we, we at Great Millstone, we, we believe wholeheartedly on that name. Whenever we, we, uh, uh, um, whenever we come to, to, you know start praying we set our mind right all right because we're coming before you know uh uh you know the most high son and yahweh shai is making uh 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 he's the mediator 
between us and, and you know the the power of the universe all right so hey it's it's you, whenever you do pray you know you can't be wavering you know like it says uh, uh in james the second chapter i believe matter of fact i'll get it james 2 Yeah, James 4, Salakia. This is James 4 and 3. It says, Ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss. All right, and that word amiss means not quite right. So, you know, pe people, you know, brothers might pray and then wonder why their prayers aren't being heard. Like, all right, you're praying to the right name, but, you know, the purpose behind your prayer isn't quite right. You know, it says um, that ye may consume it upon your lusts. So whatever you're praying for, you know, that that's why it's not quite right. It's because you're asking, you know, with a, a, a un, like an unrighteous purpose. You're praying for yourself, basically, rather than, you know, praying to be part of, you know, the Lord's will. Verse 4, it says, uh, uh, actually... Yeah, that is, that is a point. Um, but yeah, let's let's go back to scriptures about the name. All right, this is um, this is Acts four and ten. It says, "Be it known unto you all, to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Yahushai Mashiach of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom the Most High Yahweh raised from the dead." Even by him doth this man stand here before you whole. So this was when the uh, the apostles, you know, per were performing miracles, and you know the multitude asked, you know, how they did it, you know, what was their power source, or what was the name of the God that they were able to do it. And then verse eleven it says, uh, "This is the stone which was set, and not of you, of you builders, which has become the head of the corner." You know them breaking down that. It's a chief cornerstone that Yahweh Shai was that chief cornerstone uh, whereon, you know, the temple uh, was going to be rebuilt. Uh, it says, neither, the spiritual temple, that is, neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. All right, so Yahweh Shem Shai are those names that we're going to call upon and be saved. And, uh, you know, to... <laughs> To make more proof of that, this is a uh, Second Ezra chapter two verse. Uh, I'm gonna start at 42. I Ezra saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them there was a young man of a high stature, taller than the, than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads he set crowns, and was more exalted, which I marvelled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal, and have confessed the name of the of God, which is Yahweh, through his son Yahweh Shai. And it says, Now are they crowned and receive palms. Then said I unto the angel, What young persons is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So ye answered and said unto me, it is the son of the Most High, whom they have confessed in the world. So you have to confess Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai, you know, to, to be crowned by Yahweh Shai and, you know, ultimately be be saved, all right? Because this is that crowning ceremony after they got beamed up, you know? It says, uh, Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord, which is Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai. Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way, and tell my people what manner of things, and how great wonders of the Lord thy, thy power thou hast seen. You know, Yahweh Basham El Shai, thy power thou hast seen. So, yeah, they received, <laughs> you know, the angel uh, 
uh, broke it down that these be they that have, you know, confessed the name of the Lord. You know, that's those are the people worthy of salvation, you know, but also, you know, you can't you can't <laughs> uh, uh, just because you have the names, you know, doesn't mean that you got that you're automatically saved. All right. Because. Uh, Because the, the scriptures say, not everyone that say, say uh, Lord, Lord. Uh, is worthy to enter into the kingdom of heaven, you know. Because, um, you know, you have people that, you know, call on the, the Lord's name in vain. You know, they're doing it, you know, they're doing it to uh, woo or win over. You know certain individuals to follow them but you know they're and they're uh, um, they're you know basically doing the work deceitfully you know they're pretending to be a man of Yahweh Shema Shai so they'll even go as far as using the names you know to to win over uh, crowds and, and to to make them see seem deep but you know really they're calling on those names in vain or doing the work in vain because they <laughs> You know, the scriptures say that um, uh, many shall come saying, I've rebuked uh, demons in your name. But, you know, the Lord saith unto them that get uh, get away from me, ye workers of iniquity. All right. <laughs> because they're, they're just not right. You know, they're calling on the name uh, deceitfully. But, um, you know, the, the ones that are that call on them. Uh, you know, in truth and sincerity, and do His will to the to the best of you know their ability. Those are going to be the ones that are saved. You know, the ones that endure until the end. You know, stand for the name, remain faithful to Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, even unto death. Um, you know, during that <laughs> microchip, you know, the hour of temptation, which is the RFID chip, all right, which will come first before. You know, Yahweh Shai comes and before we get delivered by the names of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, you know, that, that mark of the beast has to come. All right. Um, this is uh, 1 Kings 18. And I'm going to start at. Uh, I'll start at 25. It says, And, uh, and Elijah uh, said unto the prophets of Baal, Choose ye one bullock for yourselves, and dress it first, for ye are many, and call on the name of your gods, but put no fire under. And they took the bullocks which was given them, and they dressed it, and called on, uh, on the name of Baal from morning even until noon, saying, O Baal, hear us. But there was was no voice nor any that answered and they leaped upon the altar which was made and it came to pass at noon that elijah mocked them and said cry aloud for he is a god either he is talking or he is pursuing or he is in a journey and per and per adventure he sleepeth and must be awake <laughs> so you know elijah was so confident in the in the names of yahweh that he started mocking other people's gods, all right, and that's the that's the um, that's that's the you know we can we comment in like uh, faith, you know, with the names of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. That's why we call out Allah. We say fuck Allah. You know that's not a real power that was made up by the Catholic Church. You know e even you know Jesus that name Jesus that's not the real name, you know, or God, but um. You know, we and we we break it down that the true names are Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Um, but yeah, we we have faith without a doubt that those are the names. And brothers have you know different testimonies and similar testimonies too of why uh, we believe on those names. But with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, Bashem Al You know, again, double honors to apostles and elders, and uh, you know, peace and blessings to the elect out there. Shalom.